Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is yet another installment of Biochem Macromolecules in Foods Control Group Experiments. So in this particular one, I have a protein solution and plain water so that you can see a positive and negative test for the presence of protein. Okay, now for this particular one, I'm going to be using a substance called BRA solution. Now, if you notice, BRA solution is a beautiful blue. And if you haven't watched it yet, you will be seeing that we are using two blue solutions in our labs. This one is Benedict's solution. This is going to be used for sugar. This is BRA's solution. And this is going to be used for proteins. So if you were doing this lab in person, you would want to make sure you would keep these very securely labeled so that you can tell them apart. Because yes, there is a difference in their color, but it is very, very, very close. So making sure that your solutions are labeled properly is going to be a major, major thing. Can't get the test if you don't have the right stuff. So the test for proteins is very simple. Just add BRA's solution to the test tube. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Five. Now this should be okay. So in the plain water, the pale blue has shifted so that it's all throughout and you don't really see much color anymore. In the protein solution, you can kind of see, I'm trying to make it so that you can see what it did. Okay, if you can see on top of it, there's a color change. I'll put more BRA solution in so that you can see it really clearly. That is what happens when you put in BRA solution into a protein solution. So this is going to be where you have protein present in a solution. It turns a beautiful purple, purpley pinky kind of color, depending on how much protein. Okay. So that is your test for protein in a substance.